Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Wayward here at the end of 2022 with the update 2 of Wheels and Wetlands active. And I think it's time for us to adventure into some new activities. So right now what we're doing is we're waiting for our water to desalinate. So we've built this granite water still, and we've attached our water container to it, pouring water from the, the sea into the desalinator. And what it's doing is using the heat from the fire that we've lit underneath it to um, kind of, I, I'm assuming, just boil the water, and then it will evaporate it into such a process that it will be potable for us. But we have to wait for this to happen. This is, like I said before, one of the only things in the game that really takes a significant amount of time to do. So it is uh, quite... I, I don't want to say time-consuming, but it just takes many, many turns for your water to desalinate. And this is why you don't want to wait until you're dying of thirst to start this process, because it's too late at that point. We're going to be building another still, or maybe even a third at some point, just to keep this process continuously going so we have enough to drink. But right now we're okay. So while this water is desalinating here, um, and you can mouse over it, you can see that the fire underneath that we started is thriving still. And there's unpurified water in the still, and we're just waiting for it to finish. I'm going to go ahead and craft a fishing pole. So let's start working on fishing. I'm going to see what it takes. And you can either make for fishing a fishing net or you can make a fishing rod. We're going to start with a rod, okay? And the fishing rod, you can see here, it's a tinkering skill. Actually gives you plus 20 reputation uh, to fish. And this is why I want to get into it. Fishing boosts your reputation. You can catch uh, batter locks and other... Uh, items that you can turn into string cordage um, you can eat it and it also once you get good enough is a way for you to catch fish and eat them and so it's like a great way to get food and island rep simultaneously so we definitely want to get good at this so what do we need to build a fishing rod well we need um, string pole and needle okay so, uh, we can already craft a string, so I'll do that. We've got it. And um, we have a wooden rail here that we can craft, and we have a wooden axle, but I'm going to go ahead and dismantle this log that we have. Okay. And we have bark, and we have twigs, and I'm going to go back to crafting and dismantle. And let's go ahead and dismantle these planks. When we dismantled, uh, the log, we got these planks, we're going to dismantle these planks, and what we get now um, is a pole, right? So now we have a pole, and we have a string, so what are we missing for the fishing rod? Let's look. Fish. We also need to have needles, okay? So needles, you might say, well, interestingly enough, right, if I go to my fishing pole and it says I need a needle. You can actually get needles by, we're going to dismantle this animal skull that we got from hunting. Okay. Um, and, but we can't do that yet until we get a hammer. So we need a hammer anyway, so that we can start to repair our items. So we need to build ourselves a hammer. Hammer right here. We can already craft it. It's going to take our string, but that's okay. It's going to take one pole. We got two from the plank. A granite and a string and we can make ourselves a hammer uh, and we'll make it and we failed and we made it and our skill in tinkering increased and our hatred uh, from the island our rep decreased because making this particular item uh, is a no-no because it's a smasher now um, we're going to we could make a, a skull cap if we wanted to make a hat for ourselves out of the animal skull and it would give us some defense. So this is actually a considerable thing, but right now we don't want to do that. We need to dismantle this, okay? And we dismantled the skull into bone fragments, and if we dismantle the bone fragments, 
with a sharpened item, then we get a bone needle, which is what we need to make our fishing pole, right? But now we need a piece of string. So we need cordage for that, okay? And um, we're going to go ahead and get ourselves some cordage do to do to do by getting a branch, I suppose. Rip that apart. Rip that apart. And now uh, we did get some cordage, however, by dismantling uh, right there because the stripped tree bark that we got from dismantling the tree bark is also what we can use for cordage. So we didn't actually need to go get a branch because we had some tree bark from the log. This is why logs are so great for dismantling. They give you planks, which you can dismantle into poles, and they give you tree bark, which you can dismantle into stripped bark, um, or you can use the tree bark for a fire if you want. So we're going to make a string, and now we can make a suture if we want, um, because we have a needle. Uh, to fix a, an injury, but what we want to make is this fishing rod, and we've made it. Now, look, let's look at our fishing rod right here, okay? Now, I, w I do want to say that, um, as I understand it, and this has been explained to me helpfully, you see the durability of the fishing rod. It starts at 18 out of 18, and this is going to come into play really fast, but when you make your own stuff, your skill at crafting that particular item governs how high the durability will be and so the higher your skill the better the durability of the item potentially and that's good because whenever your item starts to break and you use the hammer like we just made this granite hammer you can see it's used for repairing items if you repair something it loses durability every time you repair it until it's eventually no longer able to even be repaired it's just a shamble so the better you are the better tools you'll make that will last longer, all right? Now, I'm going to just um, go down here and I'm gonna right click number nine. And what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna fish. And so there's a action right here called cast. Cast your line into a body of water or attempt to catch a fish or unseen items from below. And we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna say done. And you're gonna see that if I mouse over this, it's going to want to use our fishing rod to cast which is exactly what we want, right? So that's fantastic. All right. Now, if you look at my inventory, I'm at 34 and a half units of weight out of 70, okay? So maybe, you know, I'd like to make a chest for myself, and we'll do that eventually to store some items. Remember, you can just throw stuff on the ground if you like. But for now, let's work on fishing. I'm going to bring this. Uh, actually, I like the box down here because I, then my equipment can go over here. It's fine. I'm going to actually show you. I like to bring the equipment kind of down down here a little bit um, if possible. Whoops. I did not mean to do that, but it happened. And here we go. And let me just kind of move this box and just make this there we go a little bit easier but then i'm going to close that all right now i'm going to face the water okay and i'm going to push nine to cast and i am trying to cast into the area in front of me but it says in right here the location appears to be too shallow to catch anything so you can see how there's like lighter water and then it gets slowly darker as the the uh, water gets deeper we need to walk out into the water Okay, and now standing in the shallow seawater, if I mouse over this, it says seawater, and then this says deep seawater at the at the deeper blue color. I'm gonna push nine again, and we're gonna cast. And we didn't catch anything, but we raised our fishing skill. So we're just gonna keep casting, and boom, we got batter locks already. So what are batter locks? Well, um. Oh, by the way, we, we made this wooden axle, and we made it so poorly that it has two out of two durability. Uh, that's hilarious. Anyway, we when you fish early on, you're going to catch a lot of these batter locks, which I think of as seaweed, because it is seaweed. It's a stringy, wet mass of seaweed. 
Now, what's great about this is it can be used as cordage, so you can make string out of it, or you can eat it in desperation. And my buddy, another JRB, was reminding me that batter locks, one of the great things about them for emergency food is that it doesn't hurt you. Like some food, when you eat it, you actually take damage, um, and this does not. So you can eat it if you need to in a pinch. So you're getting food even at low fishing level, and you're getting something that you can turn into cordage. I'm gonna dismantle this. Um, oh, I can't even dismantle this horrible thing that I've made. Um, I just can use it to craft a cart or something if I want, but it's so bad. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna end up probably dropping it. How much does this weigh? Yeah, the weigh is actually a pretty good amount. I'm gonna walk back over here, and I'm just going to um, drop this Bam. And note that you drop things in front of you. You can actually change in the options to drop things on the square that you're standing on instead of the tile that you're facing. It's up to you. I'm just dropping it down there. And um, the fire is struggling and the unpurified water is in there. So I'm actually going to go ahead and move over here and I'm going to stoke up this fire a little bit. And the fire is now thriving again. And while it's thriving, I'm going to go back to fishing. I'm going to just push 9 to cast. And, um... Oh! <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So, by the way, I forgot to notice, uh, or to mention, when you're fishing and you're casting, okay, um... If you have bait, you're going to use it. So I have this earthworm um, that I got, and I'm using this when I fish. Uh, I don't believe you have to have bait to fish. Uh, actually, you don't. But um, it helps your chances, I'm assuming. And remember, we got this by, like, digging in the dirt and messing with the grass so we can get some more if we want. Uh, I'm just going to keep fishing. You'll notice that, like, the durability of the item that you're fishing with um, will decrease, okay? And the earthworm is gone. That big sound means that we killed the earthworm uh, trying to use it to fish a lot, and that's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep fishing. Every time I fish, by the way, you'll see that my durability is going down, okay? But my fishing skill is going up. Now we've caught three batter locks, and we got 1% fishing. We're just going to keep on fishing. Now, look what's happening. Here comes a shark. If you see a shark... Do what you would expect. Just move away from it. It will attack you, okay? Now, it can't attack you um, if you're standing on the land, and it can only swim in seawater. It can't... The shark can't come up to shallow seawater, but in my experience, the game is kind of like spawning these sharks to come agitate you whenever you fish, just to make you have to move so you can't stand there forever. I don't know if that's just my speculation. Um, but while it's doing that, we can just stand in the grass and... We can um, dig, okay, or we can till, all right? So I'm going to dig and get some seeds. I'm going to dig, dig, get some grass, get some more seeds. And all of this, by the way, getting grass, getting seeds, these are things that we can eat. These are things that we can plant. And these are things that we can use to stoke the fire, the, the blades of grass. Um, and it's improving our rep, okay? Um, this note says, nothing lasts forever. An earthworm is close to being uh, breaking from use. Using my hammer, I should be able to repair it. Now, that's interesting. I didn't know you could repair an earthworm with a hammer. I was just assuming that because it was a living thing um, that you couldn't. But I'll try that uh, next time to see if I can. If I actively search out high-quality materials to craft my tools, armor, and weapons with, I can expect much higher durability on them. Exactly, right? So higher-quality materials give you higher durability, and higher skills give you higher durability. Okay. So, um... Let's see. Just gonna dig up a little bit more... and raise our botany. Now, if I turn around and I dig, 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 okay, 
Um, oh, we got some superior soil. Very nice. Getting a little bit tired here. So I'm going to go down to my um, sleeping spot and rest. I'm going to right click on my bedroll and I'm just going to say rest. And we're just going to build up our stamina a bit. And let's see, how's this doing? The fire is struggling. Let's go stoke our fire for our water. And I'm just going to push the minus key to do that again. Remember, if you want something in particular to be burned, put it at the top. So I'll put all my grass up at the top. It's going from, I'm assuming it's going from left to right, top to bottom up here. And... The fire is struggling. I'm just going to keep getting it. And now it's thriving. And while this is happening, um, you see this batter locks right here. Um, you can just pick it up. If you see it lying in the water like that, it doesn't hurt you or anything. But you can get it. And then now the shark's over there. So I'm going to go over here. There is a, a red snapper in the water. Um, and that's kind of cool, but I'm not good enough to catch that. But, uh-oh, look, what has happened? Um, a fishing rod is here, and it's broken. Two out of 18 durability. So, I'm going to simply right-click on it and say repair with a granite hammer, okay? And we use it. Now, look, it had 18 durability. I repaired it, and now its durability is full, but it's to 12, okay? So now we're down to 12 durability. And I'm going to just fish some more. Batter locks, batter locks, raising our fishing skill. Nothing seems to be biting here, indeed. We don't have any bait, so this isn't our best day. Um, but we're still raising our fishing skill and just getting batter locks. And our pole is down. You can actually... Um, do one more and take it down to one all right and then i'm gonna repair it here i tried i'm gonna try again and now um our tinkering has gone way up it's 11 percent, but the durability uh, continues to drop now it's down to eight on my fishing rod so that's a shame okay and let's check this out and boom there is purified water in the still which means that we have collected enough water so i'm going to go over here and i'm at seven out of 17 units of metabolism for dehydration here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this and i'm just going to say drink in front okay so you're going to use this command drink in front and you'll see that we got um 11 thirst so we actually over thirsted by one we regained 25 stamina we sated a hunger and we restored health by drinking the water and we completed the quest um, for desalinating water and we're going to set this up again so what you do is you just kind of um, you can push Q and then you will um, go down here and you can uh, say alright I want to detach the container I'm sorry not go down here just push shift K detach the container I'm going to turn and face the water. I'm going to right click and I'm just going to say gather liquid. I'm going to turn and face the still and then I'm going to pour the liquid and then I'm going to right click and say attach it. And then um, the fire is struggling so we're going to just boost it until it's thriving and it says it's desalinating water. There's unpurified water and now we're just getting more water but our thirst is taken care of. The next quest that we have here is for creature taming. Have you ever encountered a hostile creature? Yes. Being counter-aggressive to the hostile island creatures is sometimes not the best option, especially if you are ill-prepared or ill-equipped, which we are. There's multiple ways to tame a creature. The most effective way to tame a creature and have it fight for you is to keep them fed and happy. To accomplish this, you can do one of the following actions. And this is like basically an introduction into animal husbandry like where you're going to become a rancher and you can have animals 
that will follow you they will as it says fight with you or like if you have a goat or something you can milk the goat and get milk um so there are benefits to having animals they're friendly with you and you can tame them and you use the offer command to do that so it says facing a creature choose the offer from the items menu um certain creatures will like different items you have to experiment so you have to pick what you want to give them um, drop an item on the ground and have the creature walk over to it. If they want it, they will become tamed, okay? Um, facing a creature, open this, and you can try to select tame. Um, but if you have a low taming, that doesn't work. So we're going to try to find something that we can tame, all right? So let's scour the island. But first, I'm going to search crafting, and I'm going to type in bark. And I'm going to get myself some bark armor to wear just to give us a little bit of defense in case the animal wants to fight us. Okay, just make ourselves a little bit hardier. So we're going to make bark tunic, shield, and leggings. And we need tree bark and string for that. Okay, so that's not too hard. So um, we have some tree bark, but let's get some more. Let's go ahead and take out uh, this tree over here. And we're just going to chop it down. Island not going to be happy. But what can we do? We're going to get two logs. Dismantle both of them. Okay. And now um, we've got some string. And we've got some logs. But what we need is a bunch of bark. So if we dismantle um, the planks, we get poles. And... We don't want to dismantle our bark, so we're just going to get some more. We're going to walk over to this, and we're going to chop, chop, chop. Good. Dismantle that. Dismantle. Um, dismantle this one, and uh, dismantle this branch. Now, um, if I go to crafting, okay, and I type in bark... If I wanted to make this, I have enough bark now, but I'm missing string, okay? So we can get string with our batter locks by crafting string, right? So I'm gonna go eat this like this, and we can make some more. And um, I would like you to not use bark, but I'm gonna push this up here like this and go to crafting for string, yep. And this is okay and then now we can make a bark tunic and I will I tried and I made it okay good and we can make bark leggings and I did it all right and now I'm gonna go here and this bark tunic I'm going to um, right click it and I'm going to equip it to our chest now you can see that the durability on the bark tunic is low I could repair it but I don't want to hurt its durability so let's just wait and I'm going to equip these leggings. You can see our character now looks like they're wearing bark. And if I mouse over this, you can see what it says is our defense is plus two base. And this number has increased. Our defense has increased. But we still want to make a shield. Okay. Um, and we just need tree bark and string to do that. So let's go for it. Let's go over here and blast this a little bit. And the island doesn't like it, but that's where we're at. And this is telling us that we're overburdened. All right, so I'm going to dismantle this. I'm going to dismantle this. And I'm going to dismantle this. Now, when you're overburdened, everything is going to take a ton of stamina. Okay. I'm going to dismantle um, this wooden pole. Okay. And now we can make a wooden chest. So if you dismantle a wooden pole... I'll dismantle this branch and show you. If you dismantle a wooden pole, it makes dowels. And if you have enough planks and dowels, you can make a wooden chest. It takes six wooden planks and two wooden dowels. So you get wooden planks from dismantling logs. And you get um, wooden dowels from dismantling poles. Okay, I'm going to um, craft a chest. Okay, we made it. And now we can put it down. But over here, I saw a mouse. And I'm going to go check that out. Uh, but first, let me just drop a plank on the ground. Here he is, right here. It's a giant rat, okay? 
so we can try to tame this guy by offering him some stuff and let's see if he'll take it i don't know if he won't we're gonna have to you know get saucy with him but we'll see what happens uh we have a spear in our main hand and the rat is coming at us so i'm going to um um, just kind of click on myself until he gets to me and I'm gonna right click on him and I'm going to say I want to offer you something so let's see I could try to do tame but instead what we're gonna do is go in here and see what this guy might want to eat so we do have these raspberries so I don't know what this animal wants right so I could give it seeds but I'm gonna try to offer these raspberries so I'm gonna right click on them and just say offer and boom look at that you offered raspberries to a giant rat and it appeared to be appeased and um we completed the quest and our skill in taming went up one percent so this giant rat is tamed and it's happy okay so it's on our side now so how about that right um by the way we are at, about to pass out from exhaustion so i'm just going to kind of um rest on the ground and i'm going to try to walk back over here uh see if we can make it back to our bed area i'm just kind of being stubborn about this because i want to put down my chest right here and now i'm going to face this direction i'm going to right click on this and i'm just going to say build it and we've built this chest okay and i'm going to um open the container right click open container and you can see here's the chest's inventory and let's just put in some planks for example right so we can store some stuff in here. Anything else that we want to store that we don't need right now? Um, pile of sand, probably. Extra stones. Extra planks. And we're reducing our weight considerably by doing this. I'm going to dump in my shirt. Good. Okay, very good. Anything else I want to dump in here? Stones. Uh-huh. You can always, like, just resize the inventory. Um, I'm going to put these pants in there. Another plank. And now we're doing much better, right? So I feel tons better about um, our weight situation. So we've built ourselves a container i'm going to close this window we tamed a rat let's just check on this and the fire is struggling so let's go fix this really quickly before we rest it's thriving and let's go rest i don't want to pass out i'm going to go on my little bed here and we are going to uh, we can just sleep actually there we go now we're awake and our thirst is still doing fine but our hunger is starting to decrease okay so it's time to fish and get ourselves something to eat how is this doing there's purified water in the still beautiful right so i want to maybe make another still and i also want to potentially uh, make another container right so we can think about that but for now i'm just gonna fish I'm gonna step out and it's still dark it's early night time and our fishing rod is about to break. Fish one more time. Got the batter locks. And we're going to repair it. Got it. And now look at this thing. The durability is down to six. So it's about to break. But we can um, eat some of this stuff that we have like this. All right. So when we eat the batter locks, we get two stamina, a hunger, but we get a little bit thirsty. And so a lot of food in this game, when you eat it, you get thirsty. And that's totally fine. All right, I'm going to fish a little bit more. Oh, look at that. We found some leather boots. How about that? Look at these things. These are great. Yeah, so these are better than what we have. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, equip defeat. And you can see that our defense went up to five. All right, now this is um, showing our base and then we have different strengths and weaknesses based on the type of damage coming in but that was great that's another benefit of fishing is that you can find like just treasures and gear and things that have been 
washed out to sea. All right, uh, I'm gonna eat this. And we need to make another fishing pole pretty soon. So we'll craft a string and uh, we will dismantle this branch and we're gonna need to dismantle this bone and now we can craft another fishing pole. Uh, I'm gonna get away from that shark and we got a new one. So, ooh, we made a superior fishing rod. Yes, you can see the green outline on it. Look at that. And so it's got 28 durability and it has casting two, okay? So uh, we're better at casting with it and it has more durability. So that is insane. We just got lucky and crafted something really nice. All right. Now, another thing we can want to do is... Uh, okay, we uh, let's actually look at a kiln. I kind of want to make us a granite kiln because this is what we would use to fire some ceramics so we could make jugs, which would be another kind of container to get more water going, all right? So this is gravel, okay? And if I dig this, um, I get start to get some piles of gravel, right? That we can use, um, but we need to find some uh, clay if we could. But in the meantime, I'm gonna walk over here and I'm just going to go into my chest. And I'm going to just dump in this pile of gravel. And um, I'm going to disassemble this fishing pole. And just get the ingredients that we use to make it, you know. Um, and they're busted up pretty good, but uh, we can repair it. And we can... We can't repair that, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to put this in here. Just get my weight down a little bit. All right. And I'm going to go over here. And we're going to mine because we need to get some more granite. How much do I have now? That's three. I want to make a kiln. So I'm going to type in kiln right here. And we need to have five more pieces of granite. So let's just go ahead um, and walk over here. And just bing, 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 bing. And this is weighing a ton. So we need to uh, be mindful of our weight, unfortunately. So I'm going to go back over here. And we'll just right click on this and interact. And I'm going to sort by weight. So I can see, like, what's the heaviest stuff that I have? It's these rocks and things. And this bark armor I'm going to put away. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke earlier. The bark leggings, sometimes in games, bark leggings are both shoes and pants. In this game, the bark leggings are actually... Let me open up my equipment and show you. The bark leggings... Um, oh, I took these off, but here we go. Are actually both their pants. And the shoes that we found, the boots, when we were fishing, go on our feet. So they're different slots, so they don't overlap. So that's even better. That's why we went up to five defense. Okay, um, let me put away some of these stones. We don't need these. Try to help with our weight. Um, you know, it's just temporary because we are uh, in the business of trying to get all this granite. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're almost there. We just need two more pieces and we can go ahead and craft um, this item. And here it is. Oh, we need one more. Oh, never mind. I lied. Uh, can we make it now? No. That's sad. There we go. And we're going to craft a kiln. I'm going to try. Oh, but the the, un the unfortunate thing is a, a kiln is advanced, so it's actually kind of hard for us to make it. So we're raising our skill a lot, but this is going to be very challenging for us. Uh, I'm going to go over here and we need to rest. And we're overburdened. Um, so our stamina is getting destroyed. And to clear that up, I will drop this onto the ground for now and walk over here. And I'm just going to open up this box. And let's just put away some heavy stuff like this soil. Uh, 
and this I'm not really using the torch right now and some bark okay now I'm getting thirsty I'm gonna eat um, some grass seeds and I'll show you grass gives you one health two stamina a hunger and makes you thirsty the seeds do rather so we're just going to eat a few of these grass seeds to get our hunger up. Okay, you can see our hunger going up. And then now I'm going to walk over here. And here's my buddy. Um, oh, this rat is no longer... He tried to attack us. Um, he's no longer tame. So instead, um, what we want to do is... Oh, by the way, the quest is telling us to craft a wooden chest, which is hilarious. Um... We built a wooden chest, but they want us to craft one for extra storage. So this is the quest explaining uh, how to make a chest, which we just did. Um, but we'll do that in a moment. Uh, they might want us to make two, and that's fine. But we need to deal with this guy. So do I have any food that this dude would want to eat? Um, not really, but he's not fighting us right now. So I'm going to go ahead and drink in front. And then we're going to detach the container. And we're going to gather liquid we're going to pour it we're going to attach the container and we're going to stoke that fire until it's thriving there it goes fantastic all right and i'm going to actually walk over here and i'm just going to dig see if i can get some seeds and i want to see if this guy will eat seeds i don't know um if he will i'm going to offer him the seeds and he's back so he's happy now so you kind of have to keep feeding them to keep them happy or maybe your taming skill will keep them longer but for here he's back he won't fight us anymore and um we can go at this point we can practice building this kiln even though we're not great at it it's raising our skill a lot by just trying it and now it's telling us that the granite may be destroyed upon use, and that's fine. So we got a bunch of notes. We got Nightfall. We got Extraordinary, which is the superior soil. We got the Island Has Eyes, which is explaining the malignity and the business of uh, reputation. And we got a indication about the fact that we were overburdened, and it was telling us what was our heaviest items, and it's our tools, you know understood I'm gonna go over here and rest okay and we can rest again uh, something is moving around us and won't let us rest okay oh it's this rat and this rat is no longer tame so you know what um, I'm just gonna kill this rat and we hit it for three damage with a spear. And where did it go? Here it is. We got it. Um, so we killed the rat. Island doesn't like it, but honestly, our rep is good. And we're going to um, butcher this animal. Right? We'll do it again. And we'll just butcher everything. And the island actually, actually likes butchering and there are certain enemies like perhaps the rat that the island does enjoy you killing so uh we killed it and we can go over here and we're going to light a fire or try to and we got it we're gonna stoke this up we're getting a little bit tired but that's okay we're gonna cook some tainted meat or try to um and now what we can do is try to make um some giblets uh we're using our spear as our skewer unfortunately i'm going to repair this i'm going to repair our spear and then now we can try again and i'm going to try to make this pemmican this is hard um but i'm going to still try anyway sometimes you get lucky i will repair this or try to good um that's fine all right, and we killed that guy, and now we can sleep even more effectively, so let's do it. It's 
sweet. We did, we were able to sleep all the way through the night. Um, our thirst is down, but we can go get desalinated water. Hopefully, it's desalinated by now. And we're rocking and rolling. Uh, we really are. Like, it's not going to be easy for us to just make a kiln, but we can raise our stonework to, to do so. And the reason I'm trying to raise our ability to craft a kiln is because I'd love to make another container so that we can have two stills going and have a better water system. We need to make another chest for the quest so we can have two chests to work with. Um, but we're doing quite well. Uh, we have been fishing and we've discovered uh, a way to kind of maintain our island rep. And remember, you keep this number higher so that you aren't attacked um, and the island doesn't send like forces at you. So everyone, we're rocking and rolling. I think this is a good place to end this episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day and I hope you're finding this helpful. Take care.